Right folks, disclaimer, I'm not a scientist, I'm an engineer. Um, however, a picture like this really irritates me because the only time I like to see dead fish is if it's accompanied by a plate of chips and a pint of Guinness. So, that's the disclaimer out of the way, we can maybe move on. Wow, where'd I start? Um, Reclama Reclamation Act passed in June 9, 1902. Um, it moves on quite a bit to Hoover Dam project, really large engineering projects, and what we have here is essentially, you know, what was and what is from building sign through to completion. And um, golden age of this happened really after the Great Depression, through after the work, the Second World War, to get people back to work. And what here we have here is a couple of stories. Um, this is a story here about um, some similar falls. Um, been here for about 10,000 years and people have been fishing there and sustaining their way of life for about 10,000 years. Um, what we have here is some natives fishing, um, species which were available to them, readily available to them, um, and uh, they have legends about why the dams were the way, uh, sorry, why the rivers were the way they were and how they were doing. Unfortunately, as has happened to the Silver Falls, as many other places around about the country and the world, is that these falls are now underwater, they're backed up, filled with sediment, um, and the impact that this has is, is really, really bad. Um, 75,000 dams estimated in the US alone, 17% um, of rivers in the, in the nation are, are, are dammed up. Estimated globally about 48,000 dams over a certain height exist. This here is some visualisations, the wee dots here. Um, are taken from the Grand Database which was put together. What I've noticed up in Scotland, there's actually a hellish amount of dams up there which I wasn't aware of before I'd kind of interested in the topic. And flea throwing rivers shows you how the ecosystem's meant to be, how the aquatic ecosystem's meant to be. Um, what happens is they can't fish in aquatic ecosystem, can't breed. All the, the things they need to do are dammed up, but the only thing is that it's not only the aquatic ecosystem that's damaged. Um, it's us, it's, it's people. Um, it's utterly damning according to the Oxford University research reports that have come out. Um, Three Gorges Dam is the largest dam in the world. And apparently what's happened here is there's 1.24 million residents have been um, told to essentially to go elsewhere. You can imagine if that was to happen in California or somewhere else, it would make Donald Trump look like uh, sending people home with some kind of joke, you know? What got me going was this documentary, Damnation. Uh, has anybody seen the documentary? No. Nobody at all. Well, go and watch it. It got me thinking about the topic. Um, I like to see the science, but I also like to, 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 to back it up. This here, I like, was enabled me to learn more about it and, and try and take it in my own direction. Um, it's won a bunch of awards. Um, and one of the things I really liked about it was to s the acknowledgement that, um, you know, the, the attitude towards what dams do is kind of changing. This year was when the, the Condit Dam in the Pacific Northwest was intentionally breached. Um, there's a link there, I don't know if the slides are available, a link there to a video and a whole bunch of stuff there. Before and after, people can enjoy blah blah blah, the rest of it. What you see behind that is a reservoir <laughs> where um, the, the lake has been drained and the sediment flows downstream. The only problem is that you can't just do this because that there is extremely bad for the environment as well. NASA immediately shows the extent of how bad this issue is. You can't just blow it up and it's fine. One of the things I found brilliant and why this applies and why it's interesting is because each of you this week, I've, I've met a bunch of people um, that are actually talking about this, like doing research on it in the Amazon and all over the place. Um, I've learned a bunch about it. If this is two slides worth. 30 seconds on, so if you had a poster here or you've been talking about this, then good on you, because for me it's a topic that uh, I'm intensely interested in and I really enjoyed you know, meeting all the people that I did this week. Um, interestingly enough, there's a bunch of work going on in California. But anyway, we're coming down to the end of the presentation. Essentially, deconstruction of dams is still primarily funded by the fact that people are losing money by having to maintain these things. And one of my fellow countrymen, John Muir, has said free the rivers. Um, I think that's kind of where we are at this point in time. Um, thank you for listening, and if you've learned something, then good.
rather than the bunch, they're going to about this topic. So thank you.